Let's go. And we will see. Thank God it's Friday, and thank God it's time for Yellow Boy today. Yellow Boy today is assuring you that God walks his purpose out. That's our topic this Friday, the first one in the month of August, the fourth day of August 2023. We'll be reading from Proverbs. I told you since Monday that all through this week we'll be reading from the Proverbs, and today we are reading, reading from the 21st chapter of the book of Proverbs. Let's go very quickly to learn the lessons that are therein for us. The king's art is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He will turn it wherever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked are seen. The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to want. The gentle treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a snare of death. The violence of the wicked will sweep them away because they refuse to do what is just. The way of the guilty is crooked, but the conduct of the pure is right. It is better to live in a corner of the housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor finds no mercy in his eyes. When a scoffer is punished, the simple becomes wise. When a wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The righteous observes the house of the wicked. The wicked are cast down to ruin. He who closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself cry and not be heard. A gift in secret averts anger and a bribe in the bosom strong wrath. When justice is done, it is a joy to the righteous, but dismay to evildoers. A man who wanders from the way of understanding will rest in the assembly of the dead. He who loves pleasure will be a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not be rich. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'll keep reiterating that if we were not following the daily fountain, the daily devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, I would rather take each of these verses one by one and bring out the lessons and the prayers therein. But here we are 
we've read through about 17 verses now let's also get the lessons we want to take away from the daily fountain so i'll just read straight from the daily fountain like i have promised we'll be doing throughout this stretch of dealing with the proverbs so that we can condense all the knowledge at once the writer of proverbs again in this chapter opens our understanding to see that god does not only walk in the affairs of man he con controls the affairs of the whole world therefore the wicked must not assume that they walk outside the providential work of god in the affairs of this world so if you are succeeding at cheating at banditry at taking the resources of the people and you think that god is not watching you you are deceiving yourself god is just allowing you for now as a farmer directs the water in order to irrigate his crops that's the way god directs the heart of the kings in order to bring about his work whether the work for you to get out of the prosperity but if you are in him you will get part of the prosperity but the king that brings suffering to the people will eventually be dealt with by the lord you need to go and read isaiah 45 from verses 1 to 3 to confirm all of this now men can purpose in their hearts but it is god who fulfills his ways in order that his eternal plan of redemption be accomplished sometimes i just wonder so you mean the children of israel wandered like that in the wilderness for all those many years and then were taken into captivity by babylon for all so many other years in fact some were born in captivity and died in captivity 70 years <laughs> anybody that dies at the age of 70 is papa or mama and so somebody lived his whole years in captivity but that's god for you now there are a series of lessons that are available for christians to learn in the passage that we read and that if you allow god to carefully unfold this to you god is the ultimate director of the universe and he's to direct our lives so you need to pray that god should use you for his glory his direction will make us to correctly plan for a work and succeed therein that is what we learned from the fifth verse and his direction will teach us to dwell in peace in isolation than in the company of people who lack control contentious people who will just be arguing with you making life difficult for you now talking about the, uh, it just using a woman it may not just be your wife or your husband it may be people in the same vehicle with you in your career perhaps the people you are in the same uh, in the same office with the people you are in the same profession with the people you are in the same church with sometimes you may need to just avoid them the people you are in the same class with in school you may need to just move to another side of the divide and move away at least in your spirit from all the noise that may be around you the direction of the lord will make us to correctly plan and walk and his direction will teach us to dwell in peace in isolation sometimes rather than being in the midst of noise the righteous will always rejoice when justice is done but justice brings the displeasure to those who are unjust and then you may ask the corollary so injustice will make the unjust happy well, those that are in the Lord will have no choice than to wait on the Lord. Now, in God working out his purpose for his own people, you need to be sure that you are one of those people. Are you in Christ? If you are not in Christ, in working out his purpose, it may not be to your favor. I'm sorry, that's just the truth. And if it's in your favor today, by the time that other entity that blesses you because anything that you receive from satan he will take back in multiples from you when he is ready to take all those things back from you you'll be on your own and it may be too late for god to do anything about it therefore come to jesus today 
How you go about it, just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord, I come to you right now. I understand that you work out purposes. And I believe that it is your purpose that I give my life to you today. I've been a sinner all my life. Forgive me of all my sins. I accept you as Lord and Savior today. I pray that you also accept me too. And work out a positive purpose for my life from today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said that prayer, you need to find a Bible-believing church where you can grow more in the faith and work out your purpose with God. Join us in the Anglican Church or the PSL Extension or Shobo. For now, we're in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches, Middle and High Schools, Onyiko and Gokimi Gordon Drive, or the PSL Extension or Shobo. That is God's purpose for us right now. But God's purpose is that we move to a befitting purpose-built church building. So when you see those account details on the screen, drop something there in so that its purpose of getting that church built through us and yourselves will be fulfilled. But for now, if you want to worship with us in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle High School, you can join us on Tuesdays for our midweek services, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon, or on Sundays, 9 o'clock in the morning, where we can fellowship together in the presence of the Lord, praising Him, enjoying Eucharist in His presence, and being blessed of Him generally. And as you go out today, you need to meditate upon the fact that man can propose, but it is God that disposes. Therefore, say this prayer. Say, Lord, let your Holy Spirit inspire me to be in your purpose and grant the grace that you will work out your purpose in my life for your glory. From today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, today, remember that God works out his purpose. Yield completely to him. Never backslide. He will work out a positive purpose for your life. And you will be greatly blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. You